What's up, everyone, and welcome back to Movie Raise. We all know her as her most famous role of Hope Michelson, but did you know that this actress has been acting in some other quite famous movies and TV shows? This American actress began her career in 2014, and since, she is one of the most popular actresses from the ongoing TV series, Legacies. From Aloha to Measure of a Man, here are Danielle Rose Russell's best movie roles. Number 8. A Walk Among the Tombstones, 2014 before she got interested in acting, she was pursuing modeling when she was young, by appearing in print ads and commercials. After she got interested in acting, she appeared in a few plays at her high school. Russell's first debut acting role was in the 2014 movie titled A Walk Among the Tombstones, playing the role of a 14-year-old daughter of a Russian dealer. The movie revolves around Matt Scudder, played by Liam Neeson, a private detective who finds himself in a few dangerous situations while trying to find the killers of the wife of his last client, a drug trafficker. In this movie, Danielle was playing Lucia Landau, the daughter of dealer Yuri Landau, where she gets kidnapped in order to get money from her father. Playing alongside Dan Stevens and Boyd Holbrook has only made Danielle more experienced in the acting business, and from that point on, she would only get bigger roles. For being her first role, she did an incredible job and was only 15 when she acted in it. Number 7, Aloha, 2015. For her second role, she only went up from her debut role, and this time she earned herself a role in a hit romantic comedy movie titled Aloha. The movie is about Brian, portrayed by Bradley Cooper, a military contractor who returns to Hawaii after a very long time and reconnects with his ex-girlfriend Tracy, played by Rachel McAdams, but also falls in love with Captain Allison, played by Emma Stone, an Air Force pilot. Russell plays Grace, Tracy's daughter, who she later figures out that Brian is her father and not the man she thought he was. Starring among such huge names in Hollywood has only pushed Danielle to be even more successful in the industry, and she proved that she won't stop there. This move was a huge opportunity for her, and she made the right decision to audition for the role since it ended up truly helping her career. Number 6. The Last Tycoon, 2016 Later in her career, Russell tried to make it on TV shows as well. So far, she has only acted in movies, and the thought of her acting in a TV series might be scary. However, she managed to land a recurring role in The Last Tycoon and was on the show for six episodes. She played the role of Darla Minor, who wasn't a quite successful role for her. The series is an adaptation of F. Scott Fitzgerald's final and unfinished story that is set in the 1930s era Hollywood, an era which was darkened by the depression and the influence of Hitler. At the center of the series, we see Matt Bomer as Monroe Straw, an outstanding studio executive whose career is just beginning and rising. He struggles to find a way in the movie industry and bring his creative cinematic visions to life. However, all of this seems impossible without the approval of his boss and mentor Pat Brady, played by Kelsey Grammer. Number 5, Pandemic, 2016. Make a wish. You got one? Yeah. Okay. Um... After trying out the world of TV series in 2016, she returned to do what she knows best, and that was starring in movies. She once again found herself starring in a movie alongside some of the best actors in Hollywood. However, this time, instead of starring in a romantic comedy or an action movie, she ended up landing a role in the sci-fi thriller movie titled Pandemic. The movie follows a devastating virus outbreak that has created chaos among the people. Due to this virus, zombies are walking on the streets while the surviving people try and find a way to survive. With the entire human race, but under a threat, a once-armed rescue team tries to remove the zombies to save humanity. In this movie, Russell portrays Megan, who is Rebecca Thomas' daughter, played by Rachel Nichols. We'd have to tell you the entire plot so you can see how much bigger this role is for her compared to the rest of them, but if you want to take a closer look, you should watch this movie. Number 4. Wonder, 2017 But now my dad's busy with his new wife, who was his old boss. The movie about a boy with Treacher Collins syndrome who was trying to fit in received very positive reviews from both the audience and the critics. Danielle portrays Miranda Navas, Via's best friend in the movie, who after they have grown apart from being friends have finally reconciled. Although she doesn't have a lot of screen time in the movie, she does deliver a powerful performance which only makes her character stand out even more. Alongside Julia Roberts and Owen Wilson, who both have been in the industry for quite some time now, Russell had a lot to learn from those two incredible actors. 
The movie itself was nominated for Best Makeup and Hairstyling at the 90th Academy Awards and has grossed $306 million worldwide on a $20 million budget. Number 3. Measure of a Man, 2018 Williams, can I see you tomorrow? <laughs> I wish you lots of luck, Bobby Marks, and I'll be back in a few weeks. Mwah. Known also as American Summer in the United Kingdom, this comedy-drama movie follows the life of a teenage boy in the 1970s as he enters the summer that will change his life. He develops a close bond with a Wall Street executive while trying to learn how to stand up to his bullies and live his life to the fullest as a teenage boy. The movie is based on the 1977 novel One Fat Summer, written by Robert Lipsight. And in the movie, Danielle portrays Joanne Williams, who is Bobby's main love interest in the movie. Working alongside Donald Sutherland and Luke Wilson is definitely a huge experience, one that we don't think Russell takes as a joke. Given how little screen time she used to get into her first movies, in this one she definitely got to fully get into the character of Joanne and have her five minutes of fame. Number 2. The Originals, 2013-2018 I saw this dad? scary monster who looked like my dad. Get out! Russell's big break came when she was cast in the role of Hope Michelson in the originals. The show is a spin-off of The Vampire Diaries, and it follows the life of the vampire werewolf hybrid Klaus Michelson and his family, being the original supernatural beings in the French Quarter of New Orleans. In season 5, Danielle has landed the role of Hope, the teenage daughter of Klaus and Haley, who is an extremely powerful supernatural being and is both a vampire, werewolf, and witch. In season 5, she accidentally starts a war between a group of extremist vampires and the hybrid race. With this show gaining huge success among fans of The Vampire Diaries, Russell got to experience more recognition for her acting skills. After the show ended with its fifth season in 2018, a few months later a new spin-off show started production that would end up being one of Russell's most famous roles ever. Number 1. Legacies, 2018 to Present After the fans parted ways with the originals, the creators have found a new way to continue the story, and this time they decided to create a spin-off show from the originals, called Legacies. It follows the life of Hope Michelson, portrayed by Danielle Rose Russell, who has happily reprised her role as Hope. Hope, who has descended from some of the most powerful vampire, werewolf, and witch bloodlines, attends the Salvatore School for the Young and Gifted. It is set two years after the events that happened in the last season of the originals, and we get to see how Hope struggles with the anger and sadness after losing her parents. Her role has landed a nomination for Teen Choice Award for Choice Sci-Fi TV Actress in 2019. So far, the show has four seasons, with the fourth one premiering on October 14, 2021. The show is still running, and we are expected to see many more seasons from these supernatural beings and their struggles between the good and the bad, as well as their struggles of being normal teenagers and surviving school. On a related note, we wanted to know, what is your favorite role that Danielle Rose Russell has ever played? Let us know in the comment section below. If you'd like to see more amazing videos such as this one, make sure to like this video, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you never miss any of them. And as always, thanks for watching, guys.